Imagine you're a quality engineer overseeing three production lines that manufacture stainless steel plates. The critical quality attribute of these plates is their length, which should measure 200 millimeters precisely. Your objective is to monitor the production process to ensure it remains under control and to identify sources of variation. Let's explore two scenarios for data collection to achieve this aim. In the first scenario, you collect data separately from each of the three production lines. From each line, you gather five samples from every production batch, resulting in a total of 100 data points per line. To begin, we'll navigate to the Statistical Process Control app and go to the Control Charts tab. Since we've collected five samples per batch, our subgroup size is 5, falling within the range suitable for the XBAR R chart. If the subgroup size is more than 10, we should use XBAR S. First, input the measurement data by selecting the three production lines. Then determine the subgroup size using the respective column. Next, navigate to the Estimate tab. We can choose specific subgroups or omit some if there's a problem with particular subgroups. But for this example, we will choose to include all subgroups for analysis. Now let's configure the tests. The default test checks for observations within 3 sigma from the center line. But for demonstration purposes, we'll select all available tests. Upon completion, we'll observe X-bar and R charts for each production line. In all three cases, no points fall outside control limits or violate selected tests, indicating the process is within statistical control. In the second scenario, you collect one reading from each line daily, spanning 100 days. Each day yields three readings from the three lines. For this continuous monitoring, we'll construct an XBAR R chart with a subgroup size of 3, reflecting the daily readings from each line. Select the three lines for data input. Instead of specifying a subgroup size column, opt for Subgroups are arranged in rows across columns. As before, select the same set of tests used in Scenario 1 and proceed. Upon generating the chart, we'll observe only one X-bar chart and one R chart, combining data from all three lines. However, this time, we notice deviations from control in the X-bar chart. Two points, 41 and 94, exceed three standard deviations from the center line, violating test 1. Additionally, test 4 is violated by 14 consecutive points alternating up and down. In the R chart, test 1 is breached by points 38 and 50, exceeding 3 standard deviations from the center line. Therefore, when treating samples from the three lines as one subgroup to monitor daily variation, we conclude that the process is not under statistical control.